Say my name, say my name. What, is <laughs> what up, everybody? I'm TK, representing the big dog. Anyway, uh, studying in for Ruvenego, who's not here at the moment, I was asked quickly to talk to the youth, and we wanted to find out what they think about media today. We know that media has changed drastically today. It's different from the days when we grew up. I mean, nowadays, we've got 24-hour television. We've got more than 300 channels in the house. We've got channels available on the internet, on our phones, at our fingertips. Media is everywhere and you can't avoid it. It's in the bedrooms, it's in the lounge. Everybody has uh, and is connected. So we wanted to find out what today's you think about media. And so we brought them in and spoke to them. We also later on went to speak to a couple of parents and we hit the streets. For now though, here's what the students think about media today. My name is Leandro Chimombe. I'm a lady aged 23. I just finished at Midland State University and I was doing geography and environmental studies. And uh, basically, my passion is to impact lives, and that is through writing, through motivational talking, and through public speaking, which is motivational talking. So basically, for me, it's about being involved in the industry that is in geography and environmental studies, and also being involved in writing articles, because that's my passion to transform and to change lives. Medium broadcasting is a way of propagating information to the community, be it being based on the political arena, the economic arena, or the social issues. Media and broadcasting is whereby we use uh, the televisions, the radios, and uh, the social applications to disseminate information to the public. Media and broadcasting has to do with the production of different types of information or passing different types of messages to the world. It might be through journalism where people, uh, people are going into the field and they are researching information. It might be through photography where you're taking different types of photos and then they are portraying a certain message to the audience. Um, it might be through media researchers because we also have good programs that are done like Machi Samba in my future, <laughs> which I'm featuring on today. Um, media researchers, uh, for instance, they are those ones that are there to pass out information because they give us the platform to debate certain issues. And so we then use those issues to then, influ uh, they then influence us the way that we think and the way that we do certain things. So that's my view on media and broadcasting. It's very, very important, however, to know that the world on its own cannot revolve without media and broadcasting because we survive daily, we, we survive on getting news. Uh, you know, when you want to do, you want to travel, for example, you have to know that place where you're going, what's the situation like there? So it's very, very important that media and broadcasting be regarded as important. If given the opportunity to be in the media industry, I would go for journalism. I would see myself as a person who would venture in the media sector as a sports reporter or a news reporter on the section of sports. I'm there. Because I love researching and in researching I'll make people aware of what is taking place in my country especially. I see myself uh, maybe in five years to come being a TV presenter just like my Chisamba. I definitely think that one day I will venture into the media sector. Um, as for my parents, they have always been supportive. But I'm sure the reason why they were supportive is because they are saying you do have a degree that you are doing. So it's okay for you to then come in and have this writing. But then it's about you having that first degree. So I can say it was just 50-50. Uh, but then, yeah, they do give me the support that I need and I can't complain. I think uh, all I need is uh, support from my family, my colleagues in uh, pursuing my, my agenda because, uh, you know, when you talk of these things, you get criticism from the society, from your parents, like they, 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 when, they send you to, when they send you to school, they are looking forward uh, on you to become a doctor or something like that, like a lawyer or something. But then when you talk of these things, they criticize, like, uh, in those fields, they, you don't get much uh, money like everybody does and, and all. But then the thing is not about money, it's about passion, uh, what you want to do. So I think if you get uh, support from, the, from, from your colleagues in the society around you, I think it will be much uh, okay for you. If I were to tell my parents um, that I've decided to be a journalist, um, I think they would give me all the support in the world. Basically because they believe that everyone 
has to take part in whatever they feel. They should go for what they want. They should follow their heart. Okay, when I inform my parents that I want to venture in the media department, they will give me 100% support. Reason being, they believe that success is more of like a result of hard work. It's not a result of spontaneous combustion or anything. It's something that comes after as in putting your own effort. So they will just give me 100% support that I need because they understand that the future of children is in the hands of the Lord. Because if they try to restrict me and uh, maybe tell me to become a doctor or a lawyer, maybe they will be leading me to the wrong path. So I personally think that my parents will actually give me um, the support that I need. Given a chance, I would do it full time. Why? Because it's a passion. And I believe that where your passion is, that's where you're able to rise. So it's all about finding where your passion is. You're looking at, because when you, as a person who is in media, what you have is production. So if it's, if it's writing, you are producing. But you also need to now master the art of business. So you need to look up to people who are going to, to help you link businesses. You also, have, you also have to look up to people who are going to give you certain connections that you need. So I, I believe I can venture into it and also find people who can help me managing so that I can rise. Hey, it's quite interesting, isn't it? I hope you've been enthralled with what they had to say. It's quite a lot that they do have to say. I'm sorry we couldn't compact everything into this one single program. But you as a viewer as well, please feel free to talk to them and find out where they're at in terms of their media consumption, interaction, and whatever is available for them. Up next, we speak to the parents. We took it to the streets, and we wanted to find out what you parents or what the parents think about uh, the consumption or the people's uh, consumption of media today. And so that's coming up. Stick around. Welcome back to my future. So far, we've spoken to students who, by the way, are going to come back one more time and let us uh, know more of their thoughts uh, on the subject that we're talking to. But first, here are the parents and what they had to say about media consumption in Zimbabwe. We never know. Ngari ani plani yake tasa ipa kurara makuake. Pango ndo pane chipo chake ndo pane talenti yake. Saka tika tunangwa na ajita dawita zhe drama. Toto muti gira. You see with nowadays. Chiru cha kuto kosha mabasa ya kuzhi tira sayi wayo. Muna kafunda nungu na kushaya basa ribu. Rachu saka kada muna ene experience ni skewed ni chini cha ari. Tofara waku muti gira. For he or she to ene living. Izo zinendira na nekuta wara kwa wanenga ajita. Kana chiri chipo chitenge chiri maari. Tunufan waktu itu sih gamciri. Tunufan waktu itu zira wa nawe duku tuai itu sunu sakanaka. Zisinga zua kangani sa umpi nyawa. Pangwe cipu cinginge cha 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 nengga atu pi wa itu cukup banyak guna war. Kutia gune guziri ritira karena guzuk guzuk. Basira warga nawa beregi uno guna war ritira ni basara orang guci tayro. Support. Susu mono wa cipu orang guanyu. Zinga orang guakati kanda ku tuara nyu. Dengan tuara kau itu kumshaku shawa shaku. Cinta tak guna war zeva. Susu benda panyu zima mama. Orang guah beregi orang guci guci guna panyu. Saka zinu zuzu zinu kuru ziru wa yu zuzu kuti Kune wangwe wana Kwa zizi wangwe warukuto buda mkati minyika ino Wachino imba miziki yao ya wani Yawani urati zira kunze uko Iko zizi zinima mama iti warriors Waka enda unotamba boro kwa zisati zwambu hitu wa mkati minyika ino Ni kana zinyika muno mwa Afrika Inyika shoma zaka enda unotamba kuma olimpiks Waka unotamba wa sikana wa ibora wa yu Ini dulu na suri suri juga, karena agak cair seperti mana karena ini sudah risiko yang orang asyik dah kuih tahu ya kadar, ahi api ni mana suri juga kadar itu. Susu ni itu mana agak naik sih sah ruh mana mungkin, ane gay ni cipu cakik. Saya juga sembiri, kuno guna kura mana acuk acuk kura mana antiti, kuno guna cuci mana kuti mana itu, kuakanya aku rekeran di kubi. Mudzungu ane agarere kira iko koko, muku presenta presenta, kana muku ekto ma drama, kana muku tamba bora chayo. Asi wosimbereke, unochu wona manje, nguti isu basa redu sewa bereke, tiri popa ku zore zera wana wedu, kutiwa ziwe chaka na kani chaka ipo. Ndoto muku zera sana, kushingira chaka omari shikoro, apa zago endelemberi, ago sejo chuna yoyo shukuru ngani usi, jemiti yesho, yoyo shukuru zera shukanya ni, ma pasi muno muni. 
It's not everyone to be a doctor or a teacher or a nurse or what, but be what you are. To not order good, I won't go and then be good to my basaiwa, Gare, Ashwani, Kao, and Washita, my basaiwa, good to the Gare. Shungu Zedus or Beric, Tinetin Matari Seratinet cheat. Nukuti, Kua lawyer, Kua teacher, Kua doctor, Kua chi. This was in those names, Rimana Zedus or Beric, as this Rambi. Asi wa mwari ane chipoche ane ya kaisa wa mumuni. Saka chipoche muni chocho, haufanu kuchidi, kuchivari zira. Simo zengu wano kuna kuchita doktor, hako hita rombere kupe zizira. Achu ya kata kwa shukutu mnoto demba uto diyo. Kwa ndoso, ane hita mabasa achwe. Kumwa kwa hita mutambi webora, hako guda shaka naka, hako hita zunu zunoto shamisa. Zumwe chetina na kristiano uro na uto. Wanana kristiano hawana kuchikuru kwa waka hinda. Asi waka... Mood go only be required. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not Kana tukende sa wanawe duku shukura tinota risira utu wano zubudirira. Asinere nezimuwe nguwa andi yotire diano vazo di. Yano zufamba na ayo. Saka shaka kosha futi kutituwa ngorore si wanawe du. Kuti chunu chano mwenye sofari la. Achikura chi. Zimuzengu wando chano tokura chiripa. Chiripa mwe wake. Asi wose mbere chika ita mwana yeye. Kuti akure achite kushinitika ni umu. To every creation, there is a purpose. And so if my children were created, I'm a firm by God to go into those areas. I would gladly support them because I'm a firm believer of the fact that you have to identify your place. If you identify your place where you are called, plainly you have the grace to operate in that area. So I personally believe if media is where God has called you to be in and the grace is there, then I see no need to tell them not to venture into the sector because that's where they are going to be able to bloom. 
So I would gladly support them. I personally think that um, the information that you are being given on media is um, not enough because normally when, uh, when career guidance is uh, carried out at school, they base their information on jobs like uh, being a lawyer or being a doctor. So I personally think that uh, there is need to enhance the information they give us uh, on media. During career guidance, they don't uh, explain to you what media is. You have, to find your s uh, you have to find it for yourself, what uh, media is, like uh, the disseminating of information to the public. You have to do that on your own. The career guidance should cater for all fields, because often in schools, uh, career guidance is only for those who want to be lawyers, doctors. We never hear anything about media, media studies. So I would say to the teachers, please encourage everyone to go after their dreams not just um, encourage people to become lawyers because probably um, being a lawyer pays, being a doc doctor pays, everyone should go after their dreams. Media and broadcasting jobs are um, regarded as um, second class and not as much support is given to the children who'd want to venture into that sector. But however, I believe it's all about coming up with various initiations for example, we have the STEM program that has been introduced to support the sciences. Equally, for us to also boost, boost the media and broadcasting industry, we can also come up with such programs. We can also come up with initiatives such as linking students at school with experts so that we give them an overview of what it is about, what, what it is about, what media is about, the benefits associated with it. And as well, is also factoring in the business part, how they are going to be able to make money. Because I believe for others, they believe they want to make as much money as if they venture into media. So it's also about introducing the entrepreneurship part and also making sure that children learn as they grow. So um, everyone should be given the opportunity to venture into what they believe is their passion. And as they do so, they should not do so blindly. They need to research as much as they can. They need to link up with experts and get those opportunities and doors opened up. Maybe m my friends probably would criticize me and even the society because there's always this belief that could he probably you failed mathematics, you failed as in what you were doing, therefore you're, you're going for journalism because that's where people were failed. Personally, I'm encouraged by the clubs, the various clubs we have at school. We have clubs like debate, public speaking, and they actually encourage us to have high self-esteem, to actually speak to the people as in the public. So I personally think that the resources that are exposed to me are enough. And uh, we also have some encouragement from my headmaster, Mr. Chimonzo. He always tells us, always fight one more round in your life. So I think I have enough resources um, in my endeavors to, uh, to be in the media department. I believe the perception has changed. Why? Because we are seeing quite a couple of people who are also rising whilst they are in the media and broadcasting industry. So perceptions are bound to change when people begin to see the difference that other people are making, when people begin to see the change that, uh, that others, that other, that the change that's happening in the lives of other people. I think uh, what should be done is the, 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 the media section, like the newspapers and magazines, they should publish uh, more information about the, 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 the industry, the, the, the media industry. Like uh, they should explain to people how, how, how it helps and how one can sustain his or her life through the, 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 the industry, the, the media industry. Media can affect um, me, but negatively and positively. Positively in the, in the sense that um, you get to realize some of the things that you didn't know exist. Maybe you get to realize that um, out there, there are people who are suffering and maybe you are moved to assist those people. And then negatively in the sense that um, often um, we see people of high social sta status, people who are maybe our role models, were presented negatively through media. And that way, um, 
you are being affected negatively because you do not have anyone to look up to. Because the people that you look up to have been, have been presented negatively. Um, I myself, I, I studied geography and environmental studies at Midland State University, like I mentioned. But I've also written several articles that have been published in the newspaper. And getting feedback from people and hearing people telling you that you've written this and we are benefiting from it, that actually gives me so much, that, that drive to want to continue writing more. Why? Because you know that what you are doing is influencing and changing lives. So people should be given that opportunity to go into that sector where they know they are going to be influencing and changing the lives of people. So I am going to continue writing and who knows, may, probably one day I'm also going to have my own uh, talk show as host. I'm still going to venture into media and broadcasting. My role model is uh, Charles Mabika, the soccer reporter. I mean, the, 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 the love he has for sport, like the, the passion he shows when he, when he is uh, commenting on the sport, like uh, the, the way we, 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 we call him at school, uh, a soccer pundit, yes, something like that. The, the, the passion he has for sport. My role model in Zimbabwe is Mukadota, the actor. Basically, he is my, Mukadota is my role model because I love acting. As in, the way he acts, as in, it's full of humor. And it motivates me to want to write my own scripts maybe when I grow up and publish them on TV so that people may be entertained. My celebrity role model is Maichi Samba. Maichi Samba is my role model. The reason being, she's just someone who stands up for the voiceless. The way, the manner in which she uh, addresses social issues affecting the people in Zimbabwe, she seems to have a thousand solutions for a problem. To all those who want to venture in the media industry, I would say feel free to, to follow your dreams, to go after what you want and to enhance that, um, to enhance such, um, I would say. Um, to encourage those who want to take up uh, media studies, I say go for what you believe in and make sure that you go and um, work hard in order to uh, be part of the media department because it is not just a department where you can just venture into with your law grades and all. You have to work hard in order to get into the media department. To everyone who wants to pursue in the media sector, I think you just have to go with what you want, where, where, where your passion is. It's not about money or anything, but just do it for your passion. I think, yeah, that will help you in the near future or in the long run. One last thing, for those people that want to get into media, those people that want to uh, become Kim Kardashian, people that want to become DJs, people that want to uh, uh, be in front of the camera or behind the camera and help things happen and tell the African story, I think we have a huge responsibility to make sure that our African youth are not exposed to things that they shouldn't be exposed to otherwise. We have the responsibility to tell our stories and to engage young people in a responsible, entertaining and progressive manner. From TK starting in, uh, for Ruveneko Parrenyatwa here on this program. I'll catch you all next time. Keep thinking about media consumption and do take care.